Perspective sides. Pyglecki throws the ball up. Stewart gets the first tap of the final term. Goes towards Page. His handball chopped off by Tim Gardner. Was going to go to handball. Now does to McKernan who ran and ran well. Towards half forward now over the head of Shannon. Back towards Peacock. Got a good pick up Rod Peacock. Kick around the corner to Mahiris who's at full forward. So they've changed things around a little bit Thompson. And Nick Mahiris now. On the boundary line about 35 metres out from goal. Fanning gives him a short lead. As does Carmody. But he's going to go for goal Nick Mahiris. He comes in. And don't tell me. Don't tell me he's kicked it. He oh, has. Nick Mahiris, great kick from the boundary line. And uh, his first goal is certainly the way, uh, if I remember right, they started the uh, the third term. Exactly. Laurie. Yes, and I think uh, if they needed that goal, they certainly uh, goes without saying, doesn't it? And certainly that win seems to be perhaps uh, with the flag above us going more across the ground than uh, to the northern end. But what a sensational goal from the boundary almost on the wrong side for a right footer. And, uh, well, what a great start to the last quarter. Yeah, Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. 6-13-49, 7-18-60. It's back to 11 points of difference. Kick off the ground by Burns from the middle towards Peacock at centre half forward. Getting back there, Calvert. Get ripped off, got ripped off the footy through Fanning. Great work. Gives it to Burns by hand. Goes towards full forward and Carmody going up against uh, his good. Now Highland has got Ardo in the square. It sits for Steve Ardo. He gives it back to Highland. Spud has to kick the goal and dribbles it through for a goal. Ooh. Christian Highland. And that is his First goal this afternoon and two goals in the first two minutes of the final term has certainly set Galvin Park alight for the Tigers. The Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard and uh, well they go further ahead Thompson. Uh, sorry I mean they've gained a, uh, a bit of an advantage. They're 7-13-55 and they trail now by only five points. Werribee 7-18-60. So two quick goals in the first two minutes. Laurie. Some good running there Eric and uh, sharing the footy about. Terrific. That's, exactly. that, that's the way they've got to do it. Exactly, uh, as, as we said at three-quarter time, they've got to persist with their team plan. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Pye Gladke with the ball, throws it up again in the centre. This time Stewart gets the tap away. Further tap forward there for uh, the Werribee side. M Maharis uh, runs onto the ball, drives it to the goal square. One-on-one -on -one contest there. Oh, solid work from uh, the Werribee side. Buck gets his foot to the ball. Unfortunately, he was already through the uh, goal line and a rush behind to the Werribee Central's side. Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard 7-19 61 now Werribee Central's 7-13-55 Thompson Three minutes gone in this final term Armstrong with a footy, goes short Ooh, measures it okay, McKernan, Howlett tries to hold him up, he does so, Dave McKernan now, plays on, goes to the outer side, centre wing Gann, Kelvin in front, can't take the mark off hands for Stuka at the back coming through Page as well Burns, and can he keep it in? Yes, he can. Burns needs a handball somewhere. Can't get one. Drops the footy for Stuker over there. The boundary line right in front of the scoreboard here at Galvin Park on the outer side. Some three-quarter time scores in other GDFL matches. Bell Post Hill, 22-12-144. Bannock Burns, 7-6-48. So, Bell Post Hill doing it nicely up at Myers Reserve. Ball falls towards Highland again. And he has got the footy on centre wing. Comes out towards, oh, good tap on two by Fry. Goes towards Shannon, wants to try and keep it in. Gets a good shepherd. Back onto that left boot, does well. Dodges one, goes to the left boot long. Towards half forward, Peacock. Shembury should be able to mark, can't do so. Carmody over the back also good. Can he keep it in? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Sees it over the boundary line. Eastern Suburbs 12 10 82 lead Belmont Lions 8 5 53. And Anarchy 12 9 81 have taken the lead against North Geelong 10 8 68 at three quarter time. No scores in the GDFL round five. Back into play. Falls to the front. Barry Delaney can run away with the footy. Has got a path as well now. Takes two bounces on half back and goes to the left boot towards half forward. Musara can't take it. Is it out of bounds? It is off hands and through for a boundary throw in now over the line. And we also have a couple of scores, three-quarter time. 11-12-78 South Bowen leads St Mary's 6-8-44 in the GFL. Or sure, 15-11-101 lead Leopold 7-6-48. Back in play. Lee takes it from the ruck contest. Goes only 10 metres. Burns handball over the top towards Luke Shannon. Has to run away. Does so too. 
and needs to either handball or take a bouncy handballs to Armstrong and gets it back to Shannon. Goes the left boot, measures the pass towards Peacock. Shembury coming at him. Good play, Shembury. Peacock now. Beck coming across to help out as well. Power Peacock. Great work. Carmody could have gone short to me here. It goes long. Now it's a foot race. Morley getting across there. Ardo and also Hallam shepherding for him. Oh, they run into each other as well. Hallam close to Benjamin under pressure. Ardo does well. Can he keep it in there? Yes, he can. Oh, great play. Steve Ardo, two on one. And sees it inside the Tigers attacking zone for a boundary throw in the right forward pocket. That's the furthest I've seen Stewart from the centre of the ground, Laurie. This shows yeah, how desperate we are. Ball comes from the throw in into the arms of uh, Timmy Gardner. Tries to kick it towards goal. Comes to Otto. He can't get a kick of the ball. It's held a skelter in almost in the 10 metre square here. Tim Gardner back. Oh. Ducks dives. Comes to uh, Otto. He's Otto on the left foot has kicked a goal, said the goal umpire. So that uh, ties the ball game up. Magnificent start to the final quarter for the Thompson side. Steve Ardo's kicked a goal and on the Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard, six minutes into the final quarter, the scores are dead level. Thompson 8 13 61, Werribee Central 7 19 61. Don't tell me I've actually picked two good matches of the day in two weeks. I can't believe this. There was some good play there from uh, Luke Shannon there before, moving the ball quickly into the forward line. And the desperation shown by the Thompson players here to keep it in the forward line. It just shows how important this Ardo is. Ardo worked hard, didn't he, in this, that forward yeah, pocket? Exactly. Yeah. This game's up for grabs now. We'll see what uh, we'll be made of and Thompson. And uh, it'll be a good game to win for me, Eric. Back in the middle, West Thorpe and Stewart. To do the ruck work. Umpire Flowers throws it up. Favors Stewart gets it down to. Chopped off though for Stukram there. Stewart does his own raving work. Goes towards centre half forward. Bradley and Lee. Bit of aerial ping pong between both there. Bradley wants to hold it up. And it's still going. Armstrong in there now. The umpire will keeps it going. And they get a kick away towards one on one. Howlett Atchison in front. Played him like that all day. Page. Atchison wants to go off the be off the ground. Now Wolfenden across there with Howlett. Wolfenden can see it over the bench line. Howlett appealing for the free kick for a deliberate. Not coming. And it will be a throw in in the right forward pocket for Werribee southern end of the ground attacking against this breeze in this final term been playing seven minutes scores level Lee big thump away comes towards uh, Bradley can break away and uh, just <laughs> well punts it straight towards the bench line good kick for touch if you're playing rugby union or rugby league but it's out of bounds now at half forward for Werribee 719 playing 8 13 61 points apiece seven and a half minutes gone and a boundary throw in. Lee and Westhorpe thrown in. Westhorpe in front. Lee from behind over the back. Burns runs away, does well. Left foot kick around the corner. Now Burn and Stewart. Stewart gets there first. Handball over the top to Scott. It's good. Stewart. And now Scott goes towards Barry Delaney. It's a good kick too. Barry Delaney runs away. Gann comes at him. He draws the player. Gets it towards Kelbert. Sits for Simon Kelbert. Okay. Goes to the left boot. Long. Good kick too for distance. Number of players there. All in front off hands. It's in the 10 metre square and held up, says the umpire. He'll come in and ball it up. Set it up pretty well, Werribee there, Laurie, but just uh, unfortunately couldn't score. That's right, Eric. Uh, they're working hard. They're trying to break this game open a bit if they can. Stewie, I noticed, is moving around the ground. He's working very, very hard to try and lift his team. I guess he's the captain. He's got to do that, I guess. Ball up now, Lee. West Thorpe from a long way. Lee tuck, takes it out of the ruck. Can he kick the goal? Oh, don't tell. No, it's play on. He's kicked it straight up in the air. Off hands now. Howlett's there. Punched through by Aaron Bradley for another rush behind. And they take the lead once again at Werribee. They're seven goals, 20, 62. Don't read this in the paper on Monday. It'll look ugly. 8 13, 61, Thompson. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter score with eight and a half minutes played. Ball kicked in by Armstrong. Finds Highland. Away he goes, off half-back flank, runs a good measure, kicks the ball towards centre-half forward, Peacock and uh, Shembury, they wrestle, Peacock crashes his way through, unfortunately didn't take the ball with him, and it's cleared away by Beck of the Werribee side, up high there was uh, Beck, can't take the, uh, Lee it is, can't take the ball, Stewart runs onto it, gets a handball to Delaney, Delaney Barry, another handball to uh, Smith it is, Smith runs to 50, he's got the ball on the boot, and Nick Smith has kicked his third for the day, the Werribee fans are delighted at the present time. Nine minutes into the final quarter. Buckley's entertainment scoreboard shows Werribee Central's now. 8, 20, 68. They now lead by seven points. Thompson, 8, 13, 61. It's been able to bob up when needed. Nick Smith for goals. Laurie, this afternoon, yes, three yeah. at crucial times. Certainly, uh, Jason, it was good work from Barry Delaney then too. Uh, I was just going to say before, I thought uh, Thompson's uh, pace was going to be a bit of a worry for uh, uh, we're every bit Barry uh, Delaney's got heaps of that around the four line. He's using it quite well at the moment. Back in the middle, West Open Stewart again. 
Stewart gets it down, running from half forward, Buck, good hands too. Puts his teammate under a little bit of pressure, was that a push in the back? No, says the umpire, Burns, gets a kick around the corner, Scott's in the gun here for Werribee, takes the mark, Andrew Scott. On centre wing, goes now short to Barry Delaney, there he is again, takes the mark uncontested. Delaney, kick around the corner is okay, finds Adam Page, he's just building something up here to Centurions. Page goes in, Buck over his head, oh does he... Yes, he does well. He worked back, and then Dave McKern turned around to the umpire and said, I've got a hand on that, but Heath Buck has got a footy. Tell a story, Laurie. If you're in front, you've got a chance, haven't you? Yes, Eric, yep. So, uh, there's a bit of urgency in their game at the moment, where are we? Yes. They're stung into action, I think, by yes. those two goals, weren't they? But for Thompson, Heath Buck now hasn't uh, troubled the scorers this afternoon. Kicks to seven, I think, last week against North Geelong. Heath Buck now. Runs out to the side, and I think it stays out to the side as well. Hasn't come back far enough, and one behind. So, Werribee Central's go to uh, 8-21-69. They lead uh, Thompson 8-13-61, Buckley's Entertainment Centre. Final quarter scoreboard, 11 minutes gone. Armstrong with a footy again. This time wants to go the short way home, straight down the middle. Gardner, Lee, Lee over the head. Good play, Timmy Gardner. Shannon runs onto it as well. Shembury backs himself to come at him, but leaves his team, leaves his uh, oh. opponent. Oh, Mahiris can't take the mark off the ground. Hallam and Fanning, now it's all Werribee. Hallam's got it and gets a good shepherd handball to Skinner. Skinner can run away. He's got Page and Lee goes long towards Buck. Oh, up early was uh, Westhorpe, but Heath Buck stood his ground and took the mark. Read it pretty well. Outside the 50 metre line, drives it towards full forward. In front there is Howlett and has taken the mark. And all of a sudden, the experienced players just steadied a little bit, Laurie, and yep. uh, we're be looking a lot better in the last minute or two. What's the old saying, Eric? The cream comes to the top, and they're, they're good players. Seem to just be, uh, you know, haven't seen much from Howlett all day today. Buck haven't seen much from them. All of a sudden, they're bobbing up when they're needed, and that's that's a sign of a good player, of course. Well, Howlett, and here's a, uh, a pretty poor marking by the. Uh, Thompson defence. I think they all sat back. They thought that Howlett was going to have a shot for goal, being the leading goal kicker. Masari just in the uh, little bit of a hole there in front of the goals, and uh, Howlett saw him. Perfect pass right on the chest, and now Masara, who's uh, 30 metres out, near enough to directly in front, the opportunity to extend Werribee Central's lead. And uh, they've come home very strongly in the last few minutes, particularly to what I'd consider to be the non scoring end. Umpire Flowers getting players away from the mark, front, rear, side, whatever. Masara comes in on the right foot. That's a perfect kick off the boot. It's straight through the middle. And Masara kicks his second goal for the day. And perhaps Werribee Central's just steadied that uh, little bit now at uh, 13 minutes into the final quarter. Buckley's Entertainment scoreboard. Werribee Central's 9 21. It's 75. They lead Thompson 8 13 61, and uh, all of a sudden they stretch to 14 points. Yes, Eric, and uh, that's a very handy lead at the moment. And that was a great kick. Contrast to the one before, the guy ran straight at the ball. We had a perfect vision of that. He ran straight at it, straight through the middle. Back in the middle, Westhorpe and Stewart once again. Umpire Gleggy has ball in hand. Throws it up. Westhorpe all just a start of step. Stewart gets it down. Gardner coming through. Scott. Highland in there also. Standing. Smith. Gets it, bit of aerial ping pong. Buck goes towards half forward. Oh, great play, Wolfen, and stands his ground and gets the footy. Goes to the right boot towards centre half forward. Calvert's there. Also coming across was Peacock. Gann rides one tackle. Morley rips the footy from him. Justin Morley does well. Left foot kick towards half forward, but in front, taking the mark. Here's Aaron Bradley in front of James Lee at half back. On the other side, flank. Now just stands there and waits for a lead. Peacock and Westhorpe give him a lead on half back on half forward. Poor kick off the boot goes towards the uh, the vo the uh, the vacant wing position between wing and half forward. It's uh, Christian Highland and also Simon Calvert out there, and it will be a boundary throw in. Nine twenty one seventy five Werribee Centrals eight thirteen sixty one Thompson fourteen points of difference boundary throw in. Stewart across there to the ruck work. Westhorpe with a run up. Stewart with the left fist. Burns is in there wants a handball back. But uh, ripped off him by Simon Kelbert. Goes towards half forward again. Bradley can't take the mark. On hands and knees, needs some help. Lee tried to get it out towards Musara. Delaney does and does well. Musara takes a bounce. Robbie Musara now goes long. One on one. Atchison and Howlett getting back there. Where's it going to go through? Oh, oh, bounces to Howlett who oh, kicks it off the ground, if you don't mind. Beckham style. And uh, Andrew Howlett has kicked his second goal. 
And uh, <laughs> Andrew Atchison attacked the footy, but unfortunately it, for him it bounced over his head. And Werribee Central's kicked their 10th, their 10 21 81. They lead Thompson 8 13 61 by 20 points on the Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. Been playing 15 minutes. Atchison was on a hiding to nothing, Laurie, wasn't he? How read the ball. Is either going to roll through the goal or roll back into play? So how it thought, well, I'll sit back. If it comes back into play, I've got it. Aitchison had to go for the ball. Exactly. I mean, he couldn't be criticised for no, what he did. He did, he did everything not. right. Uh, the other guy did everything right as well. He yeah. stood back, got the lucky bounce yeah. and got an easy goal. So, ball back in the centre. Up goes Stewart again. He's absolutely dominated the centre hit outs in the second half and uh, given Werribee use of the ball, tapped forward again by Stewart. They run onto the ball, but uh, this time it's Armstrong hard at the ball. In dispute inside the centre square still comes through. Oh, good tackle there from uh, Thompson. Buck gets a handball, shoveled forward. Finally Armstrong, a little flick out to Highland. Highland for Thompson on the left foot. Sees the lead there, but uh, up, not up to it, Carmody on this occasion. Crashing through there is Morley. Brilliant play from the backline player. And uh, umpire, in fact, has paid the free kick down the ground. It was probably uh, in the act of uh, kicking the ball. I think nothing malicious in it. And, uh, unlike what the spectators seem to think but uh, at the end of the day the ball has ended up in the arms of James Lee and now we'll see him at the other end of the Grand Lorry 45 metres out directly in front and uh, everything settled down the middle I think uh, justice has been done the free kick was paid as it should have been and uh, James Lee with the ball for Werribee Central fairly started to run up again and he, at least he's been consistent Laurie he's missing to the right all the time now so unfortunately for James Lee one goal seven is his personal tally three six seven you're trying to get me into trouble <laughs> but on the Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard now 17 minutes into the final quarter Werribee Central's 10 22 82 they lead Thompson 8 13 61 kick in by Armstrong look for Timmy Gardner off hands Scott in there also working hard was Ardo McKernan goes back. Hawks now. It's out towards Smith and Musara. Wolfenden. Oh, great shepherd, Musara. And gives Nick Smith the run of the foot. He goes to the right boot, but he's missed to the right side. As he howl, it's in there. Oh, good mark. And it's just left in the last 10 minutes or so. The senior coach of Werribee Centrals has taken a couple of good grabs and has got it in the right forward pocket. And a uh, right side for a left footer. He has kicked... Uh, Two goals, two this Go afternoon, on, and has now kicked three goals, too. Andrew Howlett, third goal, and the 11th for Werribee, and they have certainly uh, ridden the tide in the last four or five minutes. And they go to 11 22 88 now. Werribee Central's Thompson 8 13 61. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard. 17 and a half minutes gone, and uh, they've done well, Laurie. Certainly have, Jason. Uh, I'd just like to see Thompson just get another goal or two and fight back into this game. It's not over yet, but uh, we'll be looking very, very impressive at the moment. Almost 18 minutes into the final quarter here, and uh, perhaps the home town crowd, the home ground lorry, just has that bit of influence in the last quarter. I think so, and maybe the sting's gone out just a little bit, Eric. I'm not sure. I'm sure Thompson are trying, but it just seems that where we've lifted a notch, I think. From the throw up, Stewart got the tap away once again, but the free kick goes to Burns. He handballs to uh, the fronting player there in Wolfen and drives to half forward. That Carmody can't take the mark. The ball comes wide to half forward flank, leading in the race for the ball and going it quite nice is Andrew Scott of the Werribee side. More than happy to see the ball over the boundary line on uh, half forward flank. Andrew Mahiris is uh, heading for interchange. Is it the uh, blood rule or uh, is he perhaps might have copped a, a bit of a knock there I think he uh, headed straight for the boundary without uh, any trainers coming to him the ball thrown in between wing and half forward for Werribee that was uh, Heath Buck was it? Big punch to the ball Buck running on the ball now in the last quarter and uh, there's uh, a lot of players around the ball in front of, right in front of our broadcast position boundary umpire puts the ball in once again Stewart gets another tap forward Delaney can't get the ball so Stewart does it himself charges through coming through as Westhorpe picks it up for uh, Thompson the ball is going to be right, right on the goal line by uh, that was uh, Hellam and uh, he plays on quickly out to Colbert he's had a great day this fellow out in the wing Colbert uh, of the Werribee side waits for players to get in position then drives the ball to the centre of the ground Shembury's in position Timmy Gardner over the top can't take the ball but Shembury recovers well weaves his way back through the crowd not such uh, a good kick and it's come back for the uh, <laughs> Thompson side to centre half forward but Buck and Stewart they raffle it and Buck takes the mark handballs quickly 
And away goes uh, Werribee once again. They've got uh, Scott out on centre wing. He takes the mark. He received it from Beck. And uh, Scott it is. Holds the play up now. Luke Shannon on the mark. And uh, Scott waits for a lead up forward. And there it comes. And it's Page takes the mark on true centre wing. And I think Werribee just almost playing keepings off Laurie at the moment. They're just controlling the footy. Yes, I think so, Eric. They just seem to be... Uh inserting their authority. Yes, ball goes to centre half back, it comes uh, for Stuka, a little hand ball to uh, Stewart there of Werribee, he drives the ball to, toward full forward, a one on one Aitchison and Howell, and that's been just a fantastic battle all day too, great players and uh, as you just mentioned a moment ago, in the last quarter Howell has been able to get a couple of kicks but by gee it's been a terrific yeah, hustle. Aitchison I thought he's played a great game today out there Boundary throw in, Lee gets the knock down towards Burns at the back of the pack, gives it to Armstrong, runs across centre half back, takes a bounce, wants somebody leading on the centre wing, Ardo gives him that lead, can he make the ground? No he can't, Morley can turn around, Fanning comes through, Morley off the ground, coming back towards Burns, can give it to Armstrong or Highland, Highland it is, rides the bump from Slavinkas, gets the handball away to Fanning, Fanning on centre wing, kick around the corner towards Walker, Beck's in there, Scott straight through, wants the boundary line, good defensive play, Andrew Scott, sees over the boundary line on centre wing. 11-22-88, Werribee Central's 8-13-61. The Thompson side, they've ridden the storm here in this final term, the Werribee Central side, and lead by 27 points. Boundary throw in, Peacock in front, in the ruck now. Goes towards Morley, coming off hands towards Ardo and Morley again, and they bottle it up, the umpire will come in and bounce it. In between wing and half forward. Half forward flank for Thompson. Big pack around the ball. Scott's got the cramp, I think, in the middle of that pack. <laughs> he certainly has. <laughs> <laughs> Poor fella. The umpire wants to bounce the ball right where he's lying, but he's all right now. He's up. He's okay. Nick Smith helping him out there. Thrown up now, Peacock and Stewart. Stewart, oh, mighty thump towards centre wing. Musara read it beautifully. Got a bit of time to set something up. Goes the right foot towards Howlett at centre half forward. Takes the mark. Be careful, Aaron Bradley. He does. He stands the, stands the mark. And Andrew Hallett has it at half forward for Werribee. And uh, Andrew Scott again in the hands of the trainers. He's perhaps not without a chance of kicking this. I was just thinking, if he kicks us, he's, he hasn't had a bad day. He's no, kicked four. No, that's right. <laughs> well, Hallett now has uh, missed it to the far side. Atchison over there punching it through for one behind once again. So three goals, three. Andrew Howlett's personal total. <coughs> and it is 11 23 89, Werribee Central's Thompson 8 13 61. 22 and a half minutes gone in this final term. And Lex Windham, uh, sorry, Buckley's Entertainment Centre bringing us this final quarter. And Armstrong with a mighty kick in once again towards half back. Gardner works to the front, can't take the mark off hands. Burn go oh, gives it back to Gardner. He's got a trip, no free kick, play on the call. Slavinkas is there. And he gets a quick kick away to Musara, unattended. Well, it's over his head and Wolfenden coming out at Atchison, backs himself. Loses the footy, Musara. Gets a push in the back, no free kick. Atchison there as well, working hard. And uh, it will be a ball up about 30 metres out from Werribee's goal. So they lead by 28 points. They really broke it open in, in three or four minutes, didn't they? Werribee in the middle of the quarter and uh, they're just hanging on there, doing it yep. very nicely. Up high goes uh, was uh, Lee, gets a tap forward, but it's uh, Thompson defending again, looking for the boundary line, and probably uh, the Sting's now gone out of them. Laurie, the uh, 23 minutes in the final quarter, they're perhaps conceding defeat, and uh, now the tide is really starting to yeah, set I think, in. Uh, yeah, I think it happens, you know, when they've, they've, they've played well for those three quarters. I think psychologically the game's probably in their own mind dropped away, and their, their intensity of the ball's just dropped up a little bit. Just a uh, fantastic game. Lee gets the tap forward for the uh, Werribee side, comes to ground. Here comes Thompson, coming back again, but the man sitting in the middle. Well, Stewart left it, and Ardo called the ball out and takes the mark for Thompson. He drives the ball into the full forward position. Oh, Carmody uh, dropped another one off the chest. He's done that a couple of times today, and uh, really that's probably been the difference. If they'd had McFarlane up there, as you mentioned earlier, it might well have been well, a totally different ball game. Well, it could have well been, you know. I mean, that's a turnover, isn't it? Yeah. The ball goes the other end of the ground now. They've had opportunities, <laughs> and now it's centre half forward. Thompson with another, but oh, Stewart, brilliant in the ruck since half time. Won every knockout. The ball comes to Grant Highland. His tackle for Stuka takes it off and gets it to Delaney. Delaney on the left foot drives to centre half forward. Great mark. No, not paid. Play on, says the umpire. Bucket is. Gets the ball back into the corridor. Brilliant running there from the uh, Werribee side, Masara 
picks it up on the left foot he had uh, Buck out wide and he's kicked it to a two on one there well the ball's come to the back can he do it this time James Lee he's run into oh you would not <laughs> Kick it out of bounds on a fall. If, if I had to explain oh. that for you, listeners, he's run in from the point post on one side. He's run to the goal square, kicked it straight across the uh, the, the goal face, and hit the behind post on the fall. Laurie, uh, I think we'll both have to take him in hand. Dear, oh dear. Uh, I'll leave it up to you, Alex. Oh, that, that was just uh, well, a, a comedy of a two-on-one. A certain goal for Werribee. Andrew Hallett left it to him. And what did he do? Uh. Oh, Jace, you better take it. Twenty-five minutes gone in this final term and the ball is with Aaron Bradley in the left back pocket for Thompson wants somebody uh, short oh kick is okay in the end didn't look too good off the boot but Atchison has got it oh, gives it to the run of Wolfenden handball over the top and it's okay to Highland at centre half back to try and draw the play and create a loose man Shannon's in the middle goes to the left boot towards half forward Fanning has to stand and wait does so Beck now foot race Fanning getting across Westhorpe needs some help but it's out of bounds Right in front of the Werribee Central's coaching box. And right in front of our commentary box here at Gelvin Park. And it's 11 23 89. Werribee Central's 8 13 61. Thompson. Buckley's Entertainment Centre final quarter scoreboard throw in. Westhorpe and Stewart. Gardner from behind to Barry Delaney. Our oh, great little hands to Justin Morley. Right foot kick. Once the boundary line kicks for touch. Highland can't keep it in. Oh, he half had it in. And then it bounced the other way and went out for a throw in on centre wing. Players pretty tired now. 26 minutes gone in this final term. And starting there a bit dark, just quietly. It is a bit. It's going to be nice and dark by 6 o'clock. Don't forget we'll be having our final siren after the uh, end of this match. Our wrap of the uh, local football in the AFL. Ball comes out towards Howlett in the middle of the ground. Coming through Wolfenden. Does he get a push in the back? No, says the umpire. It will be a ball up. Just inside the centre square. Just on the attacking side for Werribee. And a big pack around the ball as umpire Flowers will bounce down. Umpire Howlett's directing traffic out there again. And I think the boundary umpire might be in a bit of strife, is he? I think he is. He's down on his haunches. They might have to get a trainer out to him. Umpire Flowers was coming across. I think uh, Andrew Howlett pointed that out. He's actually done a shoulder. He's thrown his shoulder out throwing the ball in, has he? Well... I think our umpire Flower should ask the players to keep it away from the boundary line for the last four or five <laughs> minutes just so he doesn't have to throw it in. Well, it's 27 minutes gone. never got long to survive. Hang in there, son. Yes. <laughs> he might not be uh, appearing next week If he was a player, Laurie, we'd tell him to just keep at it. <laughs> well, it's thrown back up in the air. Stewart with a mighty thump. This time only as far as Highland. Gives it to Armstrong. Oh, oh well, he doesn't have to uh, worry about throwing this one in, the, uh, the boundary umpire, because it's going to be a kick. And it's going to go to Nick Smith for out of bounds on the full from Armstrong there. And Nick Smith on centre wing will have the footy. Actually done a good job, the bound round pause. The ball's been coming in extremely well for the whole of the day. Ball towards centre half forward. Howlett rides one bump and two bumps. Then his handball is chopped off by Petterwood. Burns on hands and knees once again. Shuffles it out towards Irwin. Can't take it with him. Atchison can't either. And guess who's next to him? Andrew Howlett. And they have been for most of the afternoon, those two. And it will be another ball up at centre half forward. 11 23 89 8 13 61 27 points of difference blood rule now and i think it might be andrew atchison with a bit of blood on his knee and he will come off the ground it's not much good signaling to the bench you've got to come off mate <laughs> <laughs> but uh, really Laurie, it's, it's just been a sensational game of footy broken open in in perhaps five minutes in the middle of the last quarter but uh, just you'd go miles to see any better than this well i think uh, you, you hit the nail on the head Earlier in the commentary, um, you know, I think the hierarchy could, should be commented on the, you know, I know they don't, they put these, don't put actually put the teams together, but I mean it's a great advert for GDFL football. Absolutely. So uh, there it is, Aitchison off. He's uh, come back onto the ground with Fry. Up goes the ball. Stewart once again, sort of probably getting sick of hearing me say it, but he's absolutely dominated that ruck. Gets the ball to centre half forward. Thompson still working very very hard at the uh, fall of the ball. Masara can't get out. Well, umpire, uh, and, and I think probably umpire's done a pretty reasonable job. They missed a couple, but uh, the man going for the ball has been given the opportunity. Masara going for the ball there, ridden into the ground, and umpire Gladke's given him the benefit of the doubt. Plays on quickly, there's a lead up forward, and that looks like uh, Buck on this occasion. Perhaps his kicking boot might be a little better than uh, James Lee, let's hope. But... Uh, Yes, really, players going through the motions now. 29 and a half minutes gone, final quarter. Ball with uh, Heath Buck 
He's uh, going to be kicking from about 40 metres, almost directly in front, the southern end. In he comes. Good looking kick off the boot. The goal umpire has not moved, and that's, uh, well, interesting enough. First goal of the day to Heath Buck. He's uh, not had a lot of opportunities. He's been pretty creative, running on the ball a bit in the last quarter, and on the Buckley's Entertainment scoreboard. 29 and a half minutes in final quarter. Buck, um, where are we central? Nearly lost my paper there. 12 23 95. They lead Thompson 8 13 61. And that scoreline, Laurie, really is not a fair indication of the game. No, not at all, Eric. Sometimes it's a bit of a, bit of a shame when that happens. But um, yeah, it's um, credit to Werby, of course. Peacock, Stewart. Peacock gets it down this occasion towards uh, Highland once again, still trying his heart out. Handball away on as far as Smith gets it back to Stewart. Goes towards centre half forward. Lee has to make up a bit of ground coming at it and uh, attacking the footy is Irwin. Gets away with a left boot towards half forward. Walker can't take the mark. Hallam keeps it in front of him and Pedderwood's there as well. Two on one now. Walker's across here again with Mick Gamford Thompson. They got the numbers. Walker, handball backwards to Burns. It's okay. Off a standing start goes towards half forward. Beck comes across and wraps it with Sean Stewart, he won the raffle Roland and will take the ball from half back, goes towards centre wing the lead's on and taking the mark is Heath Buck, plays on quickly, oh kicks it miles in the air brings rain, goes towards Lee and Calvin oh. stands there, Lee runs straight into him but it's okay, he takes the mark, plays on quickly kick across the ground towards Morley coming at him, Shannon over the back, can't take the mark, tries to keep it in front of him tries to shuffle it out now towards Byrne, breaks away, oh dropping the footy, no free kick, Morley and Justin Molly on that left boot goes long towards the forward zone. Off hands, Atchison does well and can break away. Goes short towards Robbie Byrne. He can run on if he can pick it up. Yes, he can. He's at half back. Can measure the pass towards centre wing. Getting back, Roland Beck. No mark play on the call. Peacock shuffles it back towards Highland. And I don't think Highland will be able to keep it in. He can't do so. It is out of bounds for a throw in. We've been playing 31 and a half minutes in this final term. It's 12 23 95 Werribee, 8 13 61 Thompson. Ball out of bounds. Centre wing on the, the western side of the oval. Stewart again taps the ball forward. Umpires found a, uh, a free kick. Uh, it's going to Werribee. It certainly wasn't at the uh, the ruck throwing. I don't think it's gone to a Hawks of the Werribee side. Drives the ball long to half forward flank. In good position there is uh, Lee once again. Can't take the mark but plays on quickly. Gets the ball in towards the, uh, the full forward position. Or Buck gives his opponent a a bit of a tap in the back, the ball comes to Barry Delaney, Delaney on the left foot, lovely pass and there's uh, Colbert again moving down from the wing to half forward, takes the mark and uh, he certainly would be, uh, well he struggled to kick distance at the other end so he might be struggling from 40 metres there Laurie perhaps but uh, certainly got the opportunity. He's got the opportunity Eric and uh, I'd like to see him dob this, I thought he, think he's played a pretty good game this kid. Played a very good <coughs> game, yes he's done very well out there, where are his centrals? Through Colbert drives the ball toward the goal square, goal square off hands, it's uh, gone through for another behind and uh, just the mounting tally there <laughs> on the uh, Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard Werribee Centrals 12-24-96 they lead Thompson 8-13-61 Armstrong with a torpedo oh. punt from full back if you don't mind, straight in the middle of the ground to look for Dan Fanning, can't take the mark, off hands going towards Beck, Beck now Left foot kick around the corner. Page standing start. Wolfenden behind. Oh, that's a scoop, a throw. No free kick. Kelbert again with a left boot back towards full forward. Howlett push. <laughs> <laughs> the coach can't believe it. It's back to Andrew Atchison. <laughs> and the rubber man gets it wide towards Christian Highland. Takes the mark. Held up by Conrad Slavinkus. So Christian Highland at half back now. Walker and Burner wide. They can raffle it. Burns got it. Plays on quickly, got Shannon in wide. Oh, well, he didn't expect to go there and probably should have in the end. Morley has taken the mark uncontested. Justin Morley goes in board, chopped off. Timmy Gardner does well, play on now. Short little kick to Walker, play on no 10. Gets around, oh, back to Timmy Gardner, standing start. Wants to go with the outside of the right boot, if you don't mind, towards Westhorpe. Can't take the mark, Morley off hands, can run through half back. And go towards centre wing. Wolfenden's there. Good mark. Plays on quickly. Can move it back towards full forward. Carmody up against good one out. Carmody uses the body, uses the strength and takes the mark. About 20 metres out from goal. You were a bit lenient there, I think, Jason. I think if it was a free kick the other end against uh, Howlett, I think that could have been a free kick the other way. But uh, 34 minutes, the siren has sounded, as I uh, understand it. Players uh, very exhausted. In comes Carmody. 
puts the ball on the right foot and has belatedly kicked the goal for the Thompson side. His second for the day. The final score on the Buckley's Entertainment Centre scoreboard. Thompson 9-13-67 have been defeated by Werribee Central's 12-24-96. So in that final term, Werribee were able to answer all the... Uh the firepower from Thompson and kicked five goals, six while Thompson were able to kick four straight. And the final score, 12-24-96 to 9, 13-67.